Hey everyone, in the news this week, more climate change hysteria as scientists say that cod might disappear within 20 years. Oh well, plenty more fish in the sea. Bernie Eccleston's in trouble with HMRC and having to deny a £400 million tax fraud. In his defence, the 92-year-old maybe paid that money to his 35-year-old wife fair and square when she handed him an invoice for marrying her. There were more twists in the federal indictment against Donald Trump after it turned out that he stored boxes of government documents in his downstairs bathroom. Although I don't really blame him for trying to save money on toilet paper, and at least there was a lock on that door, unlike Joe Biden who kept his illegal boxes of classified documents at a garage in Delaware. There was also the scandal of how the Red Cross raised half a billion dollars for earthquake relief in Haiti, but then most of the money went missing and they only ever built six houses. Personally, I hope that they get found innocent though and we get a brilliant new tropical series of grand designs later in the year showing how the money was spent on six houses. You know the one that show where couples spend 20 grand on fancy light switches and complain about being broke, and there's never even an MP who can claim it back. Talk of which, Boris Johnson is standing down as an MP. I'm not sure whether he's holding an impromptu work event to celebrate. And there was also a story in the news about Sweden allowing NATO deployments into the country, as well as a counteroffensive against Russia. At first I thought they meant that the counters will be worktops supplied from IKEA. Then I heard about a cabinet meeting, and that pretty much confirmed the IKEA story. And finally, a man was arrested for wearing a football shirt inscribed with, quote, 97 not enough, which is apparently a reference to the Hillsborough disaster. If he's after some free legal advice, so I would just say that it was a touching tribute to the passing of Queen Elizabeth. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.